Welcome to another short tutorial for the Gamma Optimizer channel. I haven't done a video like this in a while and I plan to start doing videos like this more frequently. So I wanted to talk about the zero DT hype thing that is going on, zero DT trading and, and, and try to explain a little bit about the hype. So uh, hopefully this will be a short video and this will be clear for you guys. So let's, let's jump into it right away. Okay, so what is zero DT? In, in essence, it's just a fancy name. Zero DT is nothing but <laughs> a fancy name for a very, very old concept. In fact, it's something that exists since options have been invented because zero DT just refers to options, any option that has zero days to expire. Uh, that means options that expire the same day. For instance, today is April 6th. So any option that expires today, April 6th, is a zero DTE option. That's it. It's just, it just sounds fancy, but it's, <laughs> it's, nothing, it's nothing fancy at all. Now, every single option that exists is going to expire someday. So every, each and every option in the market is going to be, will be, a zero DT option at some point in the future. Therefore, this is nothing special about this. It's just a fact of options. You know, options expire and whenever is the last day of the option, that option is zero DT. So don't let yourselves get confused by the terminology. It's just a fancy way to make you sound smarter, I guess, for the people that trade this, these things. And, and uh, there is nothing new, no? Now, Trading zero DT options is exactly the same thing. There is nothing different about trading these options than trading options that expire a month from now, two months from now, years from now. So uh, doing zero DT trading is nothing special either. It's just trading, okay? So hopefully with those two things, <laughs> you understand that the concept of the hype are mostly just a fancy name and mostly hype. That being said, however, there are a couple of things that are slightly different with options that expire the same day. In particular, you have to remember that options are very complex instruments. Options can be modeled through a variety of parameters and most of them, most of the option pricing models, uh, the parameters that are used uh, depend on time. Okay, so, so yes, even though this is a fancy name, this is a hype, there is indeed a difference between trading options that expire the same day versus trading options that expire um, farther out in time. Now, is the difference meaningful? Well, yes, the difference is very meaningful because one of the important parameters that is heavily affected by time is gamma. And if you guys want to know more about gamma, I'll put down below some links to my previous videos that go into the details and the gritty nitty of gamma. No? So for those of you that really want to explore this in depth, uh, feel free to browse my old videos that are like 40 minutes long. No? You can spend quite some time <laughs> looking at those videos. But gamma is probably the most sensitive parameter to time. And the, the behavior that we are, we are interested right now is that gamma changes with time in the following way. Options that expire really far, far away. Imagine, for instance, an option that expires two years from now, what we call leaps, no? Those options have almost no gamma. Gamma is almost zero for those options. So there is no gamma on the options. The options have very little optionality. And as you pick options that expire closer and closer, just a few months, a few weeks, you'll notice that gamma for the same option, for the same amount of moneyness, starts to increase massively. You know, gamma starts to increase a lot. And to the point where in the last day, you know, the, the zero DT day, the zero days to expiration, the last day, gamma is gigantic. It's probably the highest value for the same moneyness compared to any other day. So that's one good thing about zero DT options, options that expire the same day, we know for sure that have gigantic amounts of gamma. And now, from those videos, and if you don't know it, you just go look at the videos, but, or if you already know it, you just have to remember that gamma is the parameter that defines the convexity of the profit and loss of a trade. So for options that have no gamma, 
the profit and loss profile is mostly linear. No, if the if the stock moves one dollar, you make one dollar. No, it's it's very it's like a straight line. But as gamma becomes higher and higher, then you get more parabolic uh, profile. You know, you you have a convex profile that can be used to your advantage. Now, if we trade uh, options that expire the same day, we are guaranteed to be provided with huge amounts of gamma. How much gamma? Well, let's see at this chart. This chart has two options. Well, the option that expires right now, today, April 6th, and another option that expires exactly seven days from now. Notice that seven days from now is still a very short term option. It still has tons of gamma. But look at the comparison of the two. When I created this chart, the market was around 4,070. No? So, um, so this is a chart for a theoretical move, for a hypothetical move in case the market rallies to 4,110 within an hour, okay? Which is a massive move, 40 points in an hour, but just to show the point. And the way I pick these two options is I have a limited budget. No, you, you, we are traders, we have a budget. The budget for, the, for our trade is 150 bucks. We only have $150. So what can we buy you know, with $150? Well, we can buy the 4,100 call expiring today, the zero DT, or we could buy the 4,225 call in April 13, which is also 1.5. The reason I did it like this is because of, of the budget, no? So there are many ways to do the comparison, but it's still, it, you know, we, I could have picked the same call that expires seven days, but it will be outrageously expensive, and it will be a call at 20 bucks or something. And, but it's still, the, 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 char the chart will look exactly the same, it's just we needed to compare uh, percentage returns here because they cost the same amount of raw dollars, we can compare the profit right away. So notice the exponentiality on the red line, notice the zero DT line is the option that expires today, you can see the convexity as the market rallies, if the market rallies, the option starts delivering money and money. Not If it touches 4,110, it delivers almost 14 bucks of net profit, pure profit, versus uh, like uh, four bucks or less, no, not even three for the, the one that expires in uh, in seven days. So in, with one option you got, yeah, you double your money, but with the other option you just <laughs> multiply by 20. <laughs> like you just got like a gigantic, uh, by 10, I'm sorry, you got a gigantic return on your investment. So. That's, that's the beauty of using zero DT options, that you are exposed to these huge amounts of gamma, no? And, and if you are going to use them, if you are going to jump into the bandwagon, and jump into the hype, this is the best way to do it, okay? Um, because this is what I call a long gamma trade. We just buy the option and we are riding the long gamma train. And we benefit from the same, from the massive gamma profile. And, and also we could, in the, in the case of the chart, the chart is directional, no? as you see the market moves up. But if we buy also a put, we could create what is called an strangle, and you could benefit of a non-directional move. And that seems to be what is happening today. You know? the, the hype of zero DT options is that we are being joined by institutional traders. And it seems now that institutional traders are doing just strangles. That's what they do. No. <laughs> Strangles means buying both out of the money calls and puts. So they don't care about what is the direction where the market is moving as long as it moves a lot. Okay? Now, now that I mentioned that, that's the drawback of this particular strategy. The drawback is that we need the market to move a lot. By how much? Well, it depends on the price and the options that I use for the example, right now they don't require the, the market to move that much because they are really cheap. And your, your implied volatility is very cheap today, April 6, 2023. But different days implied volatility can be more expensive, but it really doesn't matter. The, the gamma of the option is the important thing and, you, and, and you're gonna get really convex profiles, you're gonna get parabolic profits uh, if, you, if, you, if, if you, your thesis is right, if the market moves a lot. Okay, the problem with this is most of the time the market doesn't move that much. Most of the time the market just kind of like is there. <laughs> Although today the market has moved a lot. It's, it's, it's very uh, ironic when I prepared the slides, uh, it was in the morning and the market was at 4,000. 
170 and now the market is past 4,100 so that this particular trade will have made tons of money right now but the trade is most likely to lose money most of most of the time however a single winner notice the single winner could be seven times the capital eight times up to ten times the capital a single winner could cover tons of losses so I think that's one of the reasons that institutional traders are coming into the zero DTE because uh, options are relatively cheap in particular index options SPX options and and in the market moves a lot they make tons of money there are other dynamics in play but I left I leave those for a different video more advanced video now before the current hype I, as I, t I told you before zero DT has existed from the beginnings of the time and zero DT has been used by retail traders since I have memory <laughs> since, the, since the 90s I think I remember retail doing zero DT and people advocating for zero DT it's just that it was different uh, for retail uh, before institutional came on board most the most common trade was short gamma so it was actually the opposite trade instead of buying this this out of the money calls strangles or calls or puts uh, retail traders used to sell them they either sell the strangle or sell the iron condor because they wanted to collect premium but you know <laughs> that's that's a terrible idea because you are on the other side of that chart you are on the other side of this gigantic parabolic you are the parabolic move you are the guy selling the red line and if the market moves you're going to be on the hook for gigantic losses so uh, i don't think it's a good idea to collect premium unless i mean the options are outrageously expense expensive no if the options are super expensive then perhaps but the, given that the short gamma side is the opposite of the long gamma it's extremely dangerous because a single losing trade can wipe out weeks and weeks of gains no and uh, this is not recommended for the faint of heart or in fact this is not recommended if you have never done options or have never done options expire the same day just don't sell options to collect premium you know just don't do it no that's not the way to do it okay so what is the conclusion of this short video uh, the conclusion is that zero dt is nothing new under the sun it's just trading options that expire the same day the new thing is that institutional players are coming into play here they are really coming uh, in mass in particular in the index like space you, we can see them on the spx options now uh, and they are there uh, if you're going to do this it's preferable to do the long gamma version which means buying they are out of the money calls or puts or strangles no that's the that's the preferable thing to do because even if you're throwing some money away if you're, if you're lucky you're going to get tons of money uh, as i mentioned the short gamma version is very dangerous and it should be done only by professionals and only if you have an external edge like your own statistical systems neural nets or whatnot but in fact this is just i want to close this and uh, reminding you that in trading there is nothing magical about any instrument there is no magical instrument that will give you profits just because of the sake of the instrument zero dte type of trading is exactly like that there is no edge there is no implicit edge on it edge is always external you have to have a thesis from the outside in some in your mind you you have a system that is telling you that the market is about to break out or break down and then you play the zero dt so no matter what you're trading if it's options or futures or stocks or the options that expire the same day the best thing to do is to have an external signaling system for the trades and with this i conclude this short video about zero dt i hope uh, it was illuminating to some of you that dispel a few of the misconceptions and hopefully i can do a more advanced version pretty soon thank you very much